is having continue continue we know that there is our life we will enjoy the life um, they also yeah, think that they... there is only one life of one us they will yeah. enjoy that life Okay. They, will they only fun. have one life, so they will enjoy that life. Wow, very nice, very nice. So, two they don't want to one. Easier. If they are kept in captivity, as in, if they are kept in enclosures like zoo or other sanctuaries, one thing that you have to remember and help me understand through your project is: Do you think that? it is healthy for them are they able to adjust to this new environment think about it when we had our lockdown hum kitna ghumte firte the lockdown aaya and all of us got enclosed into our own houses apna hi ghar hai lekin ab is char diwari ke baad nahi nikal sakte okay so now you understand how it feels are i am happy मेरे घर में हूं मैं खाना पीना मिलते रहता है बट थोड़ा बहुत कहीं तो वो खटक रहा था ना दैट आई कैन नॉट स्टेप आउट नाउ यस मैम एट अ लिटिल गार्डन विच इज राइट आउटसाइड माई हाउस आई कैन सी इट बट आई कैन नॉट गो एंड रन अराउंड ओवर देर ओके बट दी अदर थिंग इज इन कैप्टिविटी when lions or tigers are kept together or even elephants they are given healthy environment unka regular health so check hota hai disconnected Unka regular khana peena dete rehte hain so sorry i have got disconnected that's okay vihan that's okay yes. now you have listen to the class okay when they are kept in captivity or in an enclosed space or somebody is taking care of these animals ab kya hai they are getting regular food aisa kabhi nahi hota hai ki do teen din tak khana hi nahi mila no they are getting regular food they are getting regular care unka health check up sab regularly hote rehta hai daat ka checking karte hain unka pet ka checking karte hain unka fur aur skin ka checking karte rehte hain tanishka class is your look here yes All right. ये तो वाइल्ड में नहीं हो पाएगा इन द वाइल्ड दे कैन बी किल्ड बाई हंटर्स पोचर्स पीओ ए सी एच ई आर एस पोचर्स मतलब हंटर्स जैसे होते हैं वो लोग आके इन एनिमल्स को पकड़ के सर्कस या जू में बेच देते हैं दे गेट मनी ओके या फिर देर आर सम वेरी वेल्दी पीपल हु यूजली यू सीन पेट्स एज डॉग्स एंड कैट्स राइट but there are very wealthy people who like to keep lions and tigers unke gharon mein lion and tiger ko palte hain cheetah ko palte hain okay all right so but jab ye log inko palte hain na ye log inka bahut care karte hain bahut pyar karte hain unko aise pakad ke hug bhi karke wo animal bhi unke sath bahut khelta hai bahut masti karta hai and they also help in breeding the animal means they keep the male and female together so now they can produce their younger ones we have spoken about this right production of younger ones now they produce younger ones and these younger ones are also very well cared for ab in younger ones ko karne ke liye hyena aur cheetah sab nahi aata hai they are very well protected and taken care of ab ye younger ones acche se bade hote hain उनका भी अच्छा हेल्थ केयर होता है एवरीथिंग इज टेकन केयर ऑफ हेल्थ बट देर आर टू साइड्स टू द सेम पॉइंट नो यस देर आर टू साइड्स टू द सेम स्टोरी वेदर इन कैप्टिविटी इज गुड और वेदर इन कैप्टिविटी इज नॉट गुड दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी थ्रू योर प्रोजेक्ट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू माय ओपिनियन बट व्हाट आई विल डू आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सम वीडियोस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू लेट यू डिसाइड तुमको डिसाइड करना है कि ये सही है या नहीं सही है ये तुम्हारा ओपिनियन है मुझे सिर्फ तुम्हारा प्रोजेक्ट चाहिए और मुझे तुम्हारा ओपिनियन चाहिए यस रणवीर बोलो मैम आई हैव सीन अ वीडियो इन व्हिच लायंस लायन वाज ब्रीडेड इन अ हाउस ब्रीडेड नो ब्रेड लायंस आर ब्रेड इन अ हाउस यस ऐसा होता है एंड दे हैड केप्ट अ बिग स्विमिंग पूल आल्सो फॉर देम Okay. And when it became big, they left it in the 
jungle and when they came to the jungle they recognized them and they started yeah. hugging each other and i have seen also that in the zoo some places are not unhygienic they are some places are unhygienic and they leave the tigers and lions to live there in that unhygienic place okay okay interesting yeah. interesting chalo isi baat pe let's watch some videos and i want you all to understand how to go about this yeah, biology test biology test bhi hoga अरे हमारे पास आज बहुत टाइम है डोंट वरी जी टेस्ट ज्योग्राफी टेस्ट सब होने वाला है बट लेट्स ट्राई सी तनिष्का एंड प्रणव आर नॉट देयर इन द क्लास फॉर अ फ्यू डेज सो लेट अस हेल्प देम आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू मेक दीस प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हेन यू ऑल मेड द प्रोजेक्ट ऑन डॉल्फिन एंड व्हेल्स यू ऑल सॉ वीडियोस वी हैड अ डिस्कशन एंड देन वी केम अप विद आवर आइडियाज फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट राइट नाउ दे शुड आल्सो गेट अ चांस टू सी हाउ दिस वर्क्स एंड बी एबल टू मेक देयर प्रोजेक्ट विहान इट विल बी नाइस इफ यू आर गोइंग टू पे अटेंशन टू क्लास चलो रेडी क्रिटिक्स सेड इट कुड नॉट बी डन कैप्टिव ब्रेड लाइन्स आर नॉट सूटेबल फॉर री इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोग्राम्स एनिमल्स बीइंग केप्ट इन कैप्टिविटी कैन नॉट बी यूज्ड इन रीलोकेशन प्रोग्राम्स रीलोकेशन मींस उनको वापस वाइल्ड में भेज देना मतलब वापस जंगल में खुला छोड़ देना नाउ यू विल सी कि यहाँ पे एक एनक्लोजर है राइट right? एक केज जैसा है लेकिन बड़ा सा है ओपन है पर एक एनक्लोजर है रीलोकेशन मींस इनको यहाँ से निकाल के बड़ा होने के वजह से उनको वापस में जंगल भेज देंगे वेदर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी सुटेबल फॉर देम और नो दैट यू हैव टू टेल मी थ्रू योर प्रोजेक्ट Animals in captive breeding facilities cannot be released back into the wild. Leo, Leo, this is an opportunity. This is in their genes. This is in their system and gebouw. I will read what's written. A lion is a lion. He is opportunistic. It is built into his genes and system. He has to hunt. Lions are supposed to hunt. लायन के मुंह में तुम चावल दाल खिलाओगे तो वो लायन लायन नहीं रहेगा फिर टू द कंट्री द साउथ अफ्रीकन प्रेडेटर एसोसिएशन एंड इट्स मेंबर्स बिलीव द ऑपोजिट एंड वी एम टू प्रूव इट सापा इन कोलैबोरेशन विद सापा मेंबर्स टिनी बंबर्ग एंड निको ब्रियट एंड अदर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द एसोसिएशन आर करेंटली इंप्लीमेंटिंग एन एक्साइटिंग एंड ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग प्रोजेक्ट relocating captive bred lions into free roaming areas on nature reserves in the Limpopo province. In the first instance, a male and female lion donated by Tini were selected for relocation, while in the second instance, a male lion again donated by Tini and four lionesses donated by Nico were made available for release. In both these cases, relocating the lions towards the end of 2016 involved careful planning and execution, backed by an extensive paper trail of regulatory requirements. Before loading the lions into transport containers, they were pre-treated with antibiotics and multivitamins, vaccinated against See when they are kept in safe protection okay they are taken care of unka vaccination karte hain unka protection rakhte hain unko uh, uh, multivitamin sab dete hain if these animals were living in jungle do you think they were going to get multivitamins do you think they were going to get vaccinated no they are not going to get vaccinated tanishka please don't get distracted by people around your house you are in grade 6 please be in class anybody who wants to check into your class can do but without disturbing you you are in grade 6 you need to learn this is your project don't get disturbed ask them to move away if they are coming to disturb you against possible disease and multivitamins vaccinated against possible disease while other precautionary measures were also taken to ensure their optimal well-being during and after relocation dna samples were collected to record and document their genetic integrity 
another breakthrough for the South African Predators Association. As we all know, South Africa is the only country that's lion population grew with an estimate of 17% over the past 10 years. All other African countries had a, had a decline in their lion population. So this is a very proud moment for us as, as the South African Predators Association to relocate five of our lions that's been DNA, DNA profiled and ready to get relocated into previously cattle ranches that will also create habitat. The first pair of lions was initially confined to a 50 hectare camp for quarantine purposes and to adapt to the new environment. Eventually, the pair was released into the larger nature reserve, comprising of 5,000 hectares. The ultimate goal is to have an established pride of self-reliant lions on this large tract of land. In December 2016, after being kept in a boma for a week, the second pride, consisting of the male and four female lions, were released in a 1,300 hectare area. They were released into the larger reserve, having 25,000 hectares of natural habitat at their disposal. Any successful relocation program would have to prove that captive bred lions released into a free roaming and wild environment were able to fend for themselves and breed successfully. Critics argue that captive bred lions will not survive in a natural environment because they are too domesticated and never learn to hunt for their food. In both cases, these myths were quickly dispelled. And they have as a group of them together in the field? Yes, in the field. Are they different species that they have found? All have kuroos found. All have... Roarpies, zebra, lovelybies. A different kind of species? Yes. Have they found that they are sick of them to find? Or have they found them easy to find? No, as you said, the first way that they have found them, they have found them. Voor die zon op was die volk nog en doet zij bij haar eie een groot goede volk. So, ek meen, dit lijkt dit lijk nie of hulle of hulle uit die hokie uitkom en nee, niks weet. Nee, nee. So, hulle weet om hulle self te verstaan. Hulle weet. En, um, en, en natuurlijke gedrag, het hulle, het hulle begin een sociale gedrag wees, waar dominante wijsie ja, voorloop en daai. Ja. Dit was ook nou nogal baie interessant, want, want die vier wijfies was nou maar altijd alleenig en hulle het nie rarig. Maar... Children, read what's written. It was quite interesting. Previously, the three female lions were on their own. But when the male was introduced, the ranking order between the females became noticeable. The dominant one emerged and they sorted one other out. Matlab, kisko pata hai that when it is lions and lioness, who actually does the hunting? Between lions and lioness, who does the hunting? Lioness do the hunting. लायंस रिलैक्स करते हैं लायनस चल के हंट करते हैं ओके लायंस के लाइफ स्टाइल में द लायंस रिलैक्स एंड द लायनस द फीमेल लायन डज द हंटिंग एंड द लायंस कम एंड ईट इट अप ऐसा नहीं है कि द लायंस डोंट हंट बट मोस्ट ऑफ द फूड इज ब्रॉट बाय द लायनस Toe die mannetje betrokken raakt en toe, toe begin ons nou zien die rangorde van die wijfjes. Hoe, hoe die sterker in voor hen te komen en hoe alle mekaar uitsorteer. The well-being and progress of the released lions is closely monitored and well documented. At this stage, all indications are that they adapted well to their new environment. This is a groundbreaking uh, um, event. And we do trust that uh, by uh, action, uh, the, 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 the misconception that uh, captive bread line can never be uh, uh, taken back into the wild will be changed. Uh, once a, an animal, you remain an animal, the animal keeps all its instinct. And with time, uh, history will be changed and be made. It is envisioned that this preliminary study will be backed by more extensive and scientific research on the release of captive bred lions into the wild. We at Sapa believe a lion remains a lion, be that born in captivity or in the wild. Okay, interesting, right? We feel that घर में पला हुआ जो लायन है वो जंगल में जाके नहीं रह सकता वी डोंट नो 
you and i have never done that research but this particular group believes lion will remain a lion whether you keep it in a jungle or zoo or in captivity it is just going to go back to the wild and do what it is supposed to do now i have one more video let's see that video as well actually i have total of five videos we are going to watch all of it one by one there are many things that you must get exposed to as information before you are going to be able to make your project let's see next one Those are Ringling Brothers' recent decision to retire the use of elephants under the big top after years of pressure and protests from animal activists. We are inside Operation Spirit of Freedom, a major animal rescue 10 years in the making. Mariana Venzella reports. <laughs> you come into Peru with your wild animal acts, ADI is going to come and get them. Animal Defenders International is in the middle of a government crackdown. They're trying to keep these animals hidden. They're working with authorities in Peru to enforce a new law banning wild animal acts in circuses. We need to have all this stuff out. We were given exclusive access. We gotta go. During the final days of this operation, as they face off against circus owners desperate to hold on to their biggest stars. For Tim Phillips and Jan Creamer, the husband and wife team behind ADI, their decade-long fight in Latin America to end animal suffering is finally producing results. There's a routine and casual violence towards animals in circuses to keep them subjugated, keep them in their place. ADI's undercover investigations, documenting horrific abuses in circuses, helped pass new laws in Peru and eight other countries in Latin America. These animals. Now, these are the times when these animals were used for circus. Obviously, when they are being used for circus, they are being told to do jump from one chair to another, jump from one stool to another. Unko mara jata hai. They are definitely hit. They have a long cane. I remember when I was a child and I used to go for a circus show. In those days, lions, tigers were used in circus shows. That used to be the star of the show. Imagine a wild animal, a completely wild animal is sitting right in front of you and doing tricks. Okay. And they are all caged. Even when those circuses used to do these tricks, and then they will get the lions and tigers one by one. The master used to sit in the center with a huge a uh, uh, very long uh, leather uh, belt and if any of the lion or tiger didn't obey or didn't jump from one chair to another wo itne dur se fat se usko marta tha bahut zor se lagti hai agar us belt se marte hain to it is a metal cane uh, sorry a, a leather cane okay and immediately the lion will be in pain and quickly it will do what it is supposed to do so it used to be interesting to watch it at that time. I remember as a child, I used to love going to the circus because I can see lions and tigers, which you usually cannot get to see. But later on, we realized as we were growing up that these animals are tortured to do such shows. Kya aisa zaruri hai? Do we need to put these animals through so much torture just for our entertainment? Very sad. So here in Peru, which is one of the uh, places in South Africa, they have come across a circus which is using these lions and tigers to do these shows. Okay, now they are that uh, animal department which is looking to keep these animals protected has come to protect these animals. Let's see what's happening. Uh, a chain they kept in tiny deplorable conditions teeth snapped off claws cut off and i think people have said enough is enough the rescued animals are all brought here to adi's secret compound i love these old lions that are like warriors mm -hmm. they're sort of indestructible it's a temporary home for more than 100 animals lions tigers even a bear named cholita dozens of monkeys too it's just a lovely friendly little monkey he adores Jan, I know that particularly. I think he likes blondes. <laughs> and while many can relax easily in the shade, 
There's no rest for Tim and Jan, jumping into action with every lead. Today, traveling to northern Peru, where a circus is rumored to still have a tiger. We've had them under surveillance now for 10 days almost, just watching continuously. Just a block that way, it needs to be a complete surprise. And the authorities have just given the green light to move in. Everything's set. Yep, we're on. It looks very thin. It's really, really thin. But where Jan sees a malnourished tiger, the owners tell us the tiger is much more than a circus attraction. There's what seems to be like a family there who owns or works with the animals or owns the circus and they're visibly distraught, they were crying. They say they love the animal, but they're just making it really stressful and difficult for it. Keep it low, keep it low. They reluctantly hand over the tiger, and the tensions flare as they coax him onto the truck. The owners tell us that they've never mistreated their animals. We understand it's difficult. Which of us? Frustrating and trying day, but we're driving away with a tiger, and uh, that's really the only thing that matters. Back at the compound, a straw bed, just one of the new luxuries for Hoover to adjust to. Here is Hoover, the tiger. Bus. He's loving this bed. All of the animals receive first-class medical checkups and some much-needed playtime. That is as much as we can do. We give them footballs and toys, try and keep them exercised, try and get the guys to play with them now and again. <laughs> I mean, do you hear this? <laughs> Suddenly, it's all come alive. They're all like communicating with each other. The plan for the lions is to return them to Africa. Generous donations funding the completion of new enclosures at a sanctuary in South Africa. This will be the biggest airlift of its kind ever. But before final preparations can begin, they get word another circus, one that vanished into the remote northern desert, has surfaced. We'd seen it once before, and it just disappeared. Tim and Jan believe it's the last defined holdup in the entire country. But it's remote, so far from the reaches of government, they don't know what kind of resistance they might find. You don't have a lot of police support. No. How many police officers? No, they're, they're only getting two today. There's some circus trucks right here. Um, yeah. The yes, big top is down. They're bringing yeah, down the circus right They've now. started breaking down. As we arrive, Tim spots a puma named Mufasa. The Valderrama family won't let him go without a fight. They say they've had him for 20 years and see this seizure as an injustice. So it's very tense. They're very angry. They're just trying to make a living, they're saying. They've asked them to surrender the animals. They've refused. The family also insists that they've never done wrong by their animals. Pero dicen que los animales así son están los circos así son maltratados. Pero no, que los tratan no, no, mal. No, no, no. No, no. ustedes señores han visto que nosotros cuando trabajamos con los animales se les maltrata el animal adentro? No, 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 no señora. The confrontation attracts a crowd. They've barricaded the mountain lion inside the truck with all these tools from the circus around it. Outnumbered, the authorities call in reinforcements bit like the cavalry coming, I suddenly look up and there's a little truck coming and it's full of riot police. Things are starting to get heated. After hours of tense negotiation, angry defiance slowly fades, replaced by sadness as the family finally hands over the puma and says their final goodbyes. They felt like this animal was part of their family almost. Do you feel any empathy for these families? I think the, uh, the only empathy I, I feel for them is that um, they're losing something they're fond of. But I feel more sorry for the animals. The animals are the ones who are the real victims. After a few months at the ADI compounds, Tim and Jan finally release Mufasa and Hubert into their new homes, sanctuaries in Peru and Florida. The dream would be to put these animals back in the wild. But you can't do that. They've had torn from them the ability to cope in the wild. At first, they're timid. But with each... These animals have never lived in the open. They've always lived inside enclosures, right? 
and those enclosures are not bigger than our bathrooms did you see that unka jo bhi cage tha wo hamare bathroom se bada nahi tha can you imagine lion or a tiger living in that kind of a space kya tum reh sakte ho 10 saal tak ab tumhare se bathroom ke andar utna sa space mein mushkil hai right so these animals who are supposed to live in the wild have been living in enclosures difficult no ऑल्दो यू से दैट येस आई बिन टेकिंग केयर ऑफ दे मैं उनको खाना पीना दे रहा हूँ बट हैबिटेट हैबिटेट क्या है उस एनिमल को कहाँ पे रहना चाहिए वेर शुड दी एनिमल एक्चुअली बी लिविंग एनिमल शुड बी लिविंग वेर दे बिलोंग नॉट इन कैप्टिविटी ऑफ आवर हाउस ये सुबान यू वॉन्ट से समथिंग आई वॉज सींग लायन आई कैन सी दैट ही वॉज वेरी सैड यस you can see it in their face you can feel that they are just not moving they have been living like that for years together now they don't even know how it know how it feels to live otherwise yes ranveer ma'am why were those people crying over there those people were crying because they have been using those animals in the circus shows for how many years did they say 10 11 years they have been using that animal for their circus shows so in one way these people have been very close to those animals no doubt they have been very close to the animals but however your parents love you are you going to be happy if they just keep you caged inside a bathroom why let them say no that are main to usko acha kapda deta hu acha khana deta hu but wo rahegi isi bathroom ke andar iske bahar nahi nikalne ka चलेगा इज दट फाइन बट देन सिंस दैट एनिमल हैज बीन लिविंग विद देम फॉर इयर्स दे हैव अ सेंस ऑफ अटैचमेंट दैट इज द सेम क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आस्क्ड टू दोस एनिमल एनफोर्सर्स हु केम टू प्रोटेक्ट द एनिमल व्हाट डिड दे से यस वी फील बैड फॉर द ओनर बट द ओनर मस्ट आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीस आर वाइल्ड एनिमल्स दे हैव अ सेपरेट स्पेस ऑन दिस अर्थ दे आर नॉट हियर टू लिव इन केजेस they are here to live in the open so we feel that we need to protect the animal more than the emotions of the owners did you hear that they said that we are here to protect the animal right do you think you would do the same thing protect the animal that's it that's the objective step transformation they seem to take on the swagger of animals that spent their whole lives in the wilds But for the 33 lions, home is much further away. It's a complex move, each one individually created. It's never happened before taking lions from circuses in South America all the way home to Africa. It's like a fairy tale. And strapped in for the 15-hour, nearly 7,000-mile journey from Peru to South Africa. It's the biggest ever animal airlift of its kind. And their final destination, the Amoya Big Cat Sanctuary. This homecoming, more than 10 years in the making. Wow, this is so nice. You know, these animals run out into their wild. Now, in the middle of the night, they are all out. A long hard road but we are so happy this is just so satisfying it's everything oh, it's oh, it's It was incredibly moving to have done this epic journey in the company of these magnificent animals and then to see them step out onto the African soil for the first time was just so moving For Nightline I am Mariana Vanzel Yeah good nice video are you able to understand relate think how you want to make your project good yes yes good chalo let's do something like this let's do this okay we will take a small break go get your snacks get your snacks i have few more videos for you Get your snacks and we'll watch a couple more videos. Okay. 
So now I will start. Now this is a video around tigers. Let's see. Let's see about the tiger. Ready? <laughs> डेडलाइन मतलब प्रॉबेबली बाई टू थाउजेंड एटीन दे है अचीव की हमको अपने कंट्री में जितने भी टाइगर्स है उसका डबल करना है बट वी अचीव डेट बाई टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इट सेल्फ मतलब फोर ईयर्स बिफोर टाइम वी अचीव द गोल सो डज दैट मीन वी डिड अ गुड जॉब ट्राइंग टू कंजर्व दीज एनिमल्स हाउ विल यू नो दैट दे आर डूइंग वेल बाई मेकिंग श्योर दैट नो वन हंटिंग दीज एनिमल्स विच मीन्स द गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट हैज टू मेक श्योर दैट पीपल आर नॉट कमिंग टू हंट दीज एनिमल्स वाई डू दीज लाइन्स एंड टाइगर्स गेट हंटेड फॉर दियर स्किन फॉर दियर टीथ फॉर दियर नेल्स फॉर दियर बोन्स ओके सो इफ दीज एनिमल्स आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी हंटेड देन इट मीन्स दे आर गोइंग टू कम्फर्टेबली लिव इन द वाइल्ड correct now who is going to take care of that the government does that there's something called as a forest official forest department the forest department takes care of these things where they keep these animals protected un sab ko tag kiya jata hai un sab pe tracker lagaya jata hai and we know exactly where these animals are moving what they are doing even if they are in sanctuaries they know what these animals are doing <laughs> Nice, nice to see tigers. Interesting, no? See, taking care of animals is not very easy. okay taking care of humans is also not very easy leave alone animals we have so many humans in the house no how many of you are humans how many of you are humans are wait a minute your video is not coming all of you are humans oh thank god sambhalna tum logon ko easy hai roz kitna sara kirkiri karte rehte ho hai ki nahi नहीं अब उसके बाद मुंह खोल के तुम लोग इतना बोलते हो अब वो निशब्द जानवर उसको क्या हो रहा है कैसे हो रहा है कैसे पता चलेगा डिफिकल्ट नो यू हैव टू कनेक्ट विद दैट एनिमल फ्रॉम योर सोल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट इज टॉकिंग इज इट सो इजी यू थिंक इट इज सो इजी नो इट्स नॉट वेरी इजी ओके सो let us see how it feels for these animals when they are in captivity sometimes it's needed sometimes it's not needed but as long as they are going to be taken care of and allowed to live the way they need to live hum kaun hote hain unko allow karne wale par hum unhe capture bhi to nahi karna chahiye na we should also not keep them in captivity in cages hum sab zoo mein jate hain kitne log katrat zoo gaye hain most of you have gone to katrat zoo right you have seen bengal tiger you have seen white lion you have seen the regular brown lion but have you seen apne ghar se bada hai uska room no the rooms the cages that they have are not bigger than our houses and imagine they have to live within that space 
pranav not just your room your entire house your entire house if your entire house did not have walls utna bada uska cage hai correct yes but are you happy staying there throughout your life you think those lions are getting a chance to come out and take a walk outside and go back inside no re baba subah sham diwali eid holi ya kuch bhi ho ya independence day ho those animals are living inside that cage only they do not get to step out of that cage ha unko khana milta hai unka vaccination hota hai unko multivitamin milta hai everything is there but they are supposed to live inside that cage only अब वो उनका हैबिटेट हो गया है दैट्स अ फोर्स्ड हैबिटेट बट व्हेन दीज एनिमल्स आर रिलीज्ड इन सैंक्चुरीज डू ऑल नो व्हाट इज सैंक्चुरीज सैंक्चुरीज आर एकर्स एक्सक्यूज मी सैंक्चुरीज आर एकर्स एंड एकर्स ऑफ लैंड व्हिच आर रिजर्वड बाय द फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट बहुत बड़ा लैंड है मतलब पूना जितना बड़ा लैंड होगा जहां पे उसमें पूरा सिर्फ और सिर्फ गवर्नमेंट का हक है उस लैंड पे द गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट गिव इट अवे फॉर एनी बडी एंड ऑन दीज लार्ज स्पेसेस दीज एनिमल्स आर केप्ट एंड प्रोटेक्टेड नाउ दिस मच स्पेस इज गुड इनफ फॉर दीज एनिमल्स एज लॉन्ग एज दे आर प्रोटेक्टिवली केप्ट इन साइड ऐसे इतने बड़े लैंड में दे हैव लायंस टाइगर्स एलिफेंट्स चीताज डियर्स बुल्स everything but they are all coming under the forest department so the forest department will barricade the whole space in the outer area so hunters cannot enter inside but these animals will live like they are living in a jungle see your habitat and uh, adaptation chapter sirf char page ka hai in your textbook but we have been doing this chapter for the cha- for last four lectures why because i want you all to understand that your learning should not just be specific to that four pages of your chapter you must know beyond you must know more than what's in your textbook and that's why we are watching these videos that sometimes animals are kept forcibly into a habitat you all saw that when we saw about uh, the killer whales and dolphins that you see in water parks right their lungs are magnificent they are big lungs they have to come out and breathe and go back and they stay for mi- long minutes inside the water we can't stay more than 2 3 minutes 2 3 minutes bhi bahut zyada hai i can't hold my breath beyond 40 seconds but those animals belong to water but then they are kept in large swimming tanks difficult no एंड देन वो जाके हम लोग वाटर पार्क में जाके ताली बजाते हैं टिकट देते हैं उनको देखने के लिए एंड वी फील वाव दीज एनिमल्स आर डूइंग सच वंडरफुल ट्रिक्स आर दे मेड टू डू दीज ट्रिक्स दैट्स कॉल्ड कैप्टिविटी दैट्स कॉल्ड ब्रेड इन कैप्टिविटी ये उनका सब कुछ टेक केयर किया जाता है बट स्टिल दे आर ब्रेड इन कैप्टिविटी राइट वन लास्ट वीडियो फॉर टूडे एंड देन वी आर डन विदिक फॉर टूडे लेट सी दिस one last video for today and then whoever has their projects ready we will watch those projects okay shall we start one last project for one last video for today The internet knows many examples when other animals, birds and even fish have befriended humans. And although many of them probably understand friendship in their own way, these stories are still pretty touching. Let's get it on. Big Bird the Pelican. In early 2014, a pelican named Big Bird made the headlines. After he strayed from its flock following a severe storm, the bird was doomed to death. But fortunately, the Greystoke Mahale Safari Camp in Tanzania could help the pelican. This rescue operation suddenly grew into a strong and very tender friendship. Jeffrey, manager of Greystoke Mahale, helped Big Bird learn how to fish and fly. Sounds pretty weird, but Jeffrey turned out to be a pretty good teacher. Although all he did was just running around 
ground and waving his hands. Well, see that these lessons paid off. Spread your wings. Spread your wings. Thanks to the care of Safari Camp employees, the pelican quickly grew and regained its strength. It soon weighed 12 kilograms. In addition to the usual skills necessary to survive in the wild, Big Bird also learned to steal sunglasses and magazines. He became a real member of the family and a beloved pet. Although people hoped that over time the pelican would be able to rejoin his flock, this did not happen. Tragically, the bird died during a boat accident. Asian Sheep's Head Wrasse Maintaining long-term friendship is quite difficult. Now imagine that you're friends with a fish. That can't be right. Well, Japanese scuba diver Hiroyuki Arakawa would disagree with that. For more than two decades, Arakawa has been visiting Yuriko, a female Asian sheep's head wrasse that lives in Hasama Underwater Park in Japan. When Arawaka Of the fish, it was injured and couldn't catch prey on its own. The man helped the fish survive by feeding it five crabs every day. The treatment lasted only 10 days, and Arakawa believes that this is what helped him earn Yuriko's trust. An elderly diver claims anyone can become friends with the fish if they feed it, though the sea creatures don't usually trust you enough to let you pet them. It's only possible if you stay friends with them for a long time. By the way, a recent study showed that fish could recognize human faces. Scientists presented the fish with two images of human faces and trained them to choose one by spitting their jets at the picture. So, the friendship between Yuriko and Arakawa is real and it's confirmed by science. Jessica the Hippo Adoptive parents are no worse, and sometimes even better than biological ones. The story of a hippo named Jessica is excellent proof. In 2000, many people were killed and injured in Mozambique and South Africa as a result of devastating floods, but the natural disaster also affected animals. A hippo was found on the banks of the local river. Apparently, a flood separated it from his mother. The little hippo turned out to be a girl, but was so weak that it couldn't even stand. Tony and Shirley Joubert, the couple who discovered the hippo, found out that she'd recently been born. It had still had its umbilical cord attached. The baby who lost a mother at that age was doomed, but the couple decided to help the animal out. The baby was called Jessica. The couple fed her with a formula which consisted of egg yolk, cream, and full cream cow's milk. Surprisingly, this strange mixture worked. Jessica liked it, and the formula also helped her grow quickly. That's how Tony and Julie Joubert became the new parents of a female hippo, and their dogs became Jessica's brothers and sisters. Despite the size, weight, and huge teeth, Jessica is very affectionate and never shows signs of aggression. And although she now lives with other hippos, Jessica regularly visits her adoptive parents and misses them very much. Maria the Goose once a former salesman, Dominic Erlo, was taking his regular walk at the park near the lake when an unusual admirer took him by surprise. It's not clear why, but on that day, a goose suddenly began to follow him. No one really knows why Maria was so drawn to it. But on that day, an unusual friendship was born. Erlo fed the goose, and soon she began to constantly follow him in the park and even got jealous sometimes. The bird drove not only dogs, but even other visitors away from Erla. Maria even tried to follow her new friend to his house. Nothing could ruin their friendship. After all, you can't hide from geese that easily. About a year later, Mary and the remaining permanent residents of the lake were temporarily relocated to the Los Angeles Zoo while the park was renovated. Erla continued to visit the goose at the zoo and said that he wanted to be friends with her wherever the bird goes. But then an unexpected thing happened. Vets at the zoo suddenly found out that Maria had been a male all this time. Well, could it be a bromance? The bird was renamed from Maria to Mario, but this didn't change the relationship between the two friends. Fajin the Crow 
Crows are believed to be unusual and exotic pets, but the bird named Fajin isn't just a pet. Vicky Kenwood found the little bird after it fell out of its nest and saw that it was seriously wounded. Keep in mind that animal experts recommend carrying little birds only if they have been wounded or abandoned by their mother, but Vicky didn't hesitate a second. She carefully brought the injured little crow home and began to take care of it. The woman thought that it would fly away once it got better, but that didn't happen. The crow named Fajin could now fly wherever it wanted to and return to the wild at any moment, but it doesn't seem to like that he's going to leave Vicky. Perhaps Fajin doesn't even realize that he's a crow. He often chills with Vicky's dog at her house and follows them on walks. He doesn't even fly like a normal crow. Vicky says that Fajin considers flying as an extremely entertaining sport. His mum wouldn't come down, so I decided to take him home with me. And he's been with me ever since. Port Jackson Shark of all the animals on our planet, sharks are probably the least likable. Thanks to movies like Jaws, we consider them dumb, bloodthirsty and merciless predators who only see us as a snack. But the reality is way different from the filmmakers' fantasies. Sharks can't be called man's best friends, but we still manage to find one unique story. Rick Anderson is a diving instructor from Port Macquarie in Australia, and his best friend is a shark. He first met his future friend when it was still very young, and they formed a bond right away. Rick carefully approached the shark and began to pet it, and then even cuddled with it for a while. Since then, the human and the marine predator became real friends. Each time Rick goes diving, Diving, the shark swims by to greet him and grumpily pokes him with his snout when he doesn't cuddle with it. Obviously, the shark doesn't stay in one place all the time, but eventually it always comes back to the reef where it met Rick. Although this story might seem adorable, the diver doesn't recommend befriending sharks. They are wild animals after all, and we should respect their personal space. Brutus the Grizzly Bear Brutus was born in captivity and spent the first months of his life in a metal cage. There were too many animals in the wildlife park, so Brutus was about to be euthanized, but the naturalist Casey Anderson came to the rescue. He didn't just take the little cub away, he basically adopted him, because they're more than just a pet and an owner. When Brutus was still just a cub, he lived at Casey's house. When he grew up, Casey created the Montana Grizzly Encounter so that Brutus and other bears could live free there. The thing is, grizzlies born in captivity aren't allowed to return to the wild. They aren't adapted to it and aren't careful enough to stay away from people. In the end, Brutus and Casey became so close that the bear acted as the best man at the naturalist's wedding. We're not even kidding. Even though they have an amazing relationship, Casey in no way recommends keeping grizzly bears as pets. Brutus is, after all, a special case. Casey even says that his friend is only 90% bear and the other 10% is all human. Kiara the Lioness Lions can't purr, but if they could, that is exactly how Kiara would react to her adoptive dad. <laughs> oh, nah. Kiara was just a cub when Adolfo came into her life. He fed the little lion, cared for her, and played with her, so eventually the two formed a strong emotional bond. So strong that even years later, when Kiara was already a big lion, she still remembered her human father. Not just remembered, though, she still loves him and is always ready to nuzzle into him like a giant pet cat. Let's be honest, Kiara is a strong, fierce predator, but just listen to her growling with pleasure. <laughs> Dude, are you looking for new? So, loads of videos today. Loads of videos around animals, habitat, humans caring for them, and how humans and animals make a connection. How sometimes the captivity doesn't help the animals and how sometimes it really works wonders. Now you have more and more and more than enough information for your project. Do you think so? Yeah? Do you think you have more than enough information for your project? So this is your project topic. Okay. 
you all take a look at it think about it and make a nice presentation i want to know if you all have any issues feel free to write to me so we can help you out this is your topic for the project i'll send it to each one of you lions and tigers are bred in the wild and 50 larger zoos and sanctuaries across the world instead of keeping them in zoo capacity of smaller places do you think this is a healthy form of adaptation to their new habitat or does this help the healthy breeding and thereby save them from being endangered this is the topic okay i'll send this off to everybody give me a nice project work on this okay in the meanwhile i have ranveer who has prepared his project and he would like to share it with us on habitat okay let's see how he has done it you will get an idea on how to go about it easy for you to make your project ready is the project handy yes ma'am can you just stop screen share because then my uh, network becomes too low so it will work very slow so can you just stop no, the screen no no that share? has nothing to do with your network or screen share is your project ready yes yes i am allowing you to share screen come on okay just a minute okay so Can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. You are on spotlight. You can see. Yes. No, we want to see habitat run. We're not this one. Okay. Yes, Pranav. Ma'am, which project? See, Ranveer has made his project on habitat. Okay, we had a previous topic which you guys had missed. It was on how dolphins and whales are being kept in captivity and if it is good for them at all. So the topic was killer whales and orca and dolphins have adapted to smaller water areas in water parks. do you think this is a healthy form of adaptation to their new habitat this was the project you can see my screen yes we can yes yes and look yes. at habitats and adaptation project by anvisin gate 6 and then i wrote orcas and i took a picture and then i wrote killer whales are found in water parks nowadays which is not a healthy place for them they are being forced to do things that are not good for them they should be in their home which is the ocean people are capturing the orcas by putting fishing nets which harms them and we should immediately stop such activities imagine if someone comes to your home and takes you away to some place and tells you to do things that are very difficult it would not be good for you so we should stop capturing orcas and putting them in water parks that took okay. sharks photo and then i wrote about i then i wrote something sharks are very strong predators they are not being captured for shows or anything anything else then why are killer whales this is incorrect if killer whales will start to hunt like sharks people will stop attacking fishes hmm right okay dolphins photo and i wrote there are dolphins which are in water parks nowadays They, this is also incorrect Dolphins are one of the intelligent in the fishes family. It is the best fish that can get to know about the thing ahead of it by echolocation. It can even get to know what thing is there ahead of them and the shape of it. Hmm. If you see a video on dolphin versus shark, dolphin will win because it is intelligent and swift with its work and the shark won't win the battle. by echo location it can even get to know about its food sharks are heavier than dolphins so sharks are slow okay. now i wrote over here healthy killer whale in the ocean and then then the second photo you can see there in the show getting less place to swim and getting lazy then the next is that a killer whale is left back in the ocean alone after all the shows 
and then you can see on a shore killer whale could not hunt and eat so it died oh wow so you have basically put it up as the life cycle of a captured killer whale yes. that when it was in the wild it was very happy it was captured and then it was doing its shows in water parks so not getting enough exercise to move around as fast as it could in an open ocean then you yes. are showing that when it is left back in the ocean it is not able to take care of itself and hunt for itself and ultimately it dies very nice project ranveer very nice project done good job are we getting an idea on how to go about our projects children are we getting an idea on how to go about our projects yes yes ma'am i understand okay very good very good very nice okay so on that note let us take a break theek hai yes let's take a break and uh, we'll come back in 5 minutes to see what we want to do next the class can decide we have a biology test so we need to do that as well come on let's take a break come back in 5 minutes go everybody good job oh, thank you I for your patience stop stretching thank you for your patience thank you for going through all the videos so nicely please remember you have sufficient information around the topic okay so make a nice project it will be very interesting theek hai chalo let's take a 5 minute break and come back come on kids go take a walk stretch wash your hands drink water come back 